Go. Mm -hmm. Hi guys, this is my daughter Atalia. We're back with Fat Faces, another quick tutorial. I told my daughters we started a YouTube channel and now they're excited to be models again. So um, we are going to get a quick little tutorial out of the way. Um, we talked about what design and um, we decided on a kitty cat. So let's get that done. The first thing I'm going to do is start actually with um, a little bit of Paradise White and I'm going to put this on this little Kabuki brush. Um, so a few little spritz here, get your paint activated. There we go. And I'm actually going to load that up just like that. Nice load. And hold it still. And I usually just start right here at the nose and I drag it down. And then I kind of drag this up, kind of creating like a fur almost look. And with just pretty much one coat, I've had that all covered. Go ahead and close your eyes for me. And turn this way just a bit, right there, love. Perfect. And tilt your chin up. Great. And then I'm going to go softly over the eyes. And kind of just come up to a little point. There we go. Same thing on this side. We come up to a little point. Okay, good job. All right, I'm actually going to round out her muzzle just a bit more. We kind of bring it out right to where her smile lines would be. Round it out. Whenever it's rounder, it's always cuter. So there we go. We have our little base down for our kitty. And now for the line work, um, we decided on a pink and blue kitty. That's what she said she wanted. Um, so I'm actually just going to go on with this split cake. This is just a homemade split cake with a bunch of different pinks in there. Um, I think it's a combination of Krivlon, Tag, and... Oh, goodness. Paradise, maybe? I'm not sure. So I'm just loading it up on a 3 fourths inch flat brush. And come towards me. Perfect. Chin up again. Alright, and I'm just going to start by bringing a line straight down. And that's not so much a line, but that's okay. We can fix that. Bring that down. We're going to create little ears. Same thing here. Bring a line down. Grab that line. And create little triangles, little ears on top. Okay, and I'm going to come back in. And we're going to pull some lines down. Lay the brush and kind of wiggle it up and down create some little fur on the top there. Close your eyes. The reason why I ask them to close their eyes is because they don't like this flicking. It kind of scares them when you come back. So I'm just laying my brush down and kind of just doing that same thing we were doing. There we go. On the forehead. And same thing on this side. Close your eye. Bring it out. Swoop. And just kind of create little jaggedy lines with your brush and bring that paint right in. It doesn't have to be perfect. That looks pretty good. Nice and even there. Alright. Now we can do some line work, but before I do that I'm going to do just a little bit of stenciling and that's how I'm going to get that blue in there. When a kid says, hey, you know, I want a pink and purple kitty, it doesn't have to be pink and purple paint. You can add an accent of um, the other color with stenciling. So that's always a nice option. So I'm going to come in with a, a little quarter sponge and grab some blue. I think this is a Paradise uh, Shimmer Blue. It's one of their metallics. And I have a BAM stencil uh, 2006. So I'm going to use just this flower portion here. And I'm going to come up just like that. Close your eyes for me so it's not bothering you. And I'm actually going to pounce in some little flowers right there. I hope that's not too wet. I didn't check it. Oh, that looks pretty good. All right. Nice. All right. Come down here. Oh, not so far. So they can see that. There you go. Tilt your chin up. Nice job. Okay, I'm going to lay that down right on the forehead. And 
and do the same thing, pounce in a little flower. And one more on this cheek, turn this way my love. And close your eyes so that's not bothering you. Alright, and a final one there. And it looks really pretty on top of that pink, it looks super cute. All right, so I'm liking that. All we need is a little bit of line work now. I'm gonna use a round number four brush for my line work. That is my preference, that's what I usually go to. And for her, I'm just gonna go ahead and outline in traditional black. Um, sometimes I like to mix, mix it up and do outline work and other colors than black, but um, because we use such a, a dark pink on this, I'm going to go ahead and, and go with the black. I think it will help it pop the most. Yeah. All right, love. So this is the part I need you to hold still for, remember? Yeah. Okay. And we got a nice load there. Come this way so I can see you. And I usually like to start with the top and move my way down. So I'm going to come in and come to a point and line my ears. And then I usually come back over the ear and bring that to a point. Same thing over here. Everything just looks better when it has sharp edges. Now for the hair, I'm just going to go in and follow that line work we already did and give it a little bit more texture. And then come inside the ear, give a few little flicks like hairline. There we go. A little hair inside the ears. Go ahead and close your eyes for me. We're going to do the eyeliner. I'm going to come around and I'm going to flick up and then pull that down. Same thing on this side. Come up and flick out. Give it that cat eye. Come down and bring that to a point. Sit up nice and tall for me, love, so people can see. There you go. All right. Head up. At this point, I'm going to go ahead and flick out some eyelashes. So one two and three and now we're gonna line her hair turn this way on her cheek and we'll come out and up line her muzzle I'm gonna flick that in so it ends nice and sharp on her lip and we're gonna grab this and loop in our little tiger stripes all right, let's do the other side. Make that one match. Come out and up. Make sure it comes to a nice point. Flick that back, have it come to a nice point, and we're going to wrap one, two, three. All right, that's looking good so far. I got to finish the fur on the other side here. Give her some eyelashes. Close your eye for me, please. One, two, three. And honestly, when you move quick, it comes out better. I think this side looks better than that side. All she needs now is a nose. And every now and then, <laughs> I'll give them lips. If I have a long line, I try not to start that trend because then everybody wants them. But, you know, if... If you're doing like a birthday party or something, I mean, that's almost a must have. If you're at a festival, I think that's a little bit different. Okay, so that's looking pretty cute. Let's add a little bit of fun glitter to it. I have one of my favorite homemade chunky glitters. And this stuff is super fabulous. It always looks good. So I'm just going to kind of just tap a little bit here and there. I mean, you could certainly put some bl glitter, oops, did you see that little piece fall? You can certainly put some glitter like in the base when you're actually laying all Delva color down. That would be super cute. Um, we got a nose. Let's do some quick lips. All right. Where are my little, oh, I don't know what to do with them. Of course. For her, I'm going to do some classic red lips. And hold still, my love. Alright. Open just a bit. And I'll come and line this top lip. Good job.
And these are just little um, disposable lipstick ones I got on Amazon. I ordered a big pack of these and I think they're going to help out a lot. I'll report back to you. But I'm liking them so far. A one dip process, work with what they got on their lips. I'm not double dipping back into anything. I think they were definitely a good buy. Oh, you know what I forgot? I forgot her little part in between. Her, here's my brush. I'll show you. You'll know exactly what I'm talking about when you see it. Okay, I don't even know what the proper name is, but, oh, try not to smear it up. Okay, go like this. Good job. Bring the line down and press. And then I usually give them a few little dots in here. Those are fun. Different sizes. All right. And look, can you look at the camera for me? Can you say meow? Meow. <laughs> Smell real pretty, hun, so they can see. And turn real slowly. They can see on each side. Good job. Come up a little bit closer to the camera for me. Come closer. And smile. Look at the camera. Wave bye. Thanks for joining us, guys.